good day to all of us. Thank you very much for watching this video. Of course, I'd like to thank the organizers of the second international conference on the future of education 2020 or ICONFED 2020. The title of my paper is Re-envisioning Professional Development, Adapting to the New Normal. I am Dr. Joseph Desena Dayag, an adjunct professor at St. Paul University, Philippines. I am also the founder of Exiltro Educational and Research Consultancy. Moreover, I am the founder and content creator of Exiltro Online. What shall we build on? Let us take a closer look at the scenario in the new normal. We'll also take a closer look at the significance of adapting to the new normal. And of course, later, we'll talk about fostering professional development amid the pandemic. Finally, we will take a closer look at re-envisioning 21st century educators' professional development. What's the scenario, this new normal? It is essential that we go the extra mile. Of course, we do understand that there are many challenges in the academy, this new normal. For us teachers, some are not new, but some are definitely worth pondering on. First, internet connectivity issues. Some students have internet connection, but some others have unstable internet connection. We do understand that their internet access affects their performance in their classes. Second, marking of students' outputs. It's a challenge for us teachers to mark bulky outputs from our students. Of course, this challenge can be overcome. Teachers have to be efficient in marking the students' outputs. Otherwise, the outputs of their students would pile up. Another challenge is the provision of timely feedback. We do understand that as we provide feedback to our students, they learn, they assimilate whatever mistakes they have committed in their outputs. And so if we cannot provide them timely feedback, definitely it will affect their performance. This is particularly a challenge for those who are facilitating modular learning. We do know that students submit their outputs every week. And so if teachers are not that efficient, then the outputs of the students pile up and definitely the feedback written on the outputs of the students would be futile later on if the feedback are not timely. Another is lack of parent support. We have to understand that some of the parents have hectic schedule in their workplace. Some others don't have the capability to help their children. And so the teachers have to understand the plight of those children whose parents do not have the capability to help them or assist them in their lessons. The challenge is the preparation of instructional materials. Teachers have to prepare user-friendly and attractive instructional materials. And so this definitely takes time. If we are not efficient, it would be difficult for us to prepare many instructional materials that would help our students. Finally, lack of motivation is one of the challenges of the new normal. Whether we like it or not, this is a constraint if the students do not have parents who follow up the progress of their children at home. So it's important that we 
educators provide user-friendly materials and that we encourage our students to study very well in our classes. If they do not have the intrinsic motivation to learn, we have to motivate them properly. Do we need to foster professional development amid the pandemic? Of course, yes. Right now, teachers have to be more adept, more creative, and more optimistic. Educators should have the intrinsic motivation to be more adept in preparing their lessons, to be more adept in making, designing their instructional materials. Teachers should be more adept in selecting the learning activities of their students. It's also the time for teachers to be more creative as, of course, modular learning is used or blended learning is applied. Definitely, teachers have to be creative in selecting the performance task to be given to the students. They have to be more creative in providing assessment to their students. They also need to be more creative in encouraging their students to give their best in their classes. Educators need to be more optimistic this new normal. Knowing that there are many challenges in the academy, especially on the part of the students. In the new normal, teachers have to be more optimistic. Whether we like it or not, the attitude of the teacher affects the attitude of the students. And so, if the teacher always looks at the brighter side of this current scenario, then the students would, in due time, gradually be affected and they'll also be encouraged to look at the brighter side of this pandemic. In this presentation, I contend that professional development may be re-envisioned. There are five ways to achieve professional development in the new normal. I believe that teachers have to be intrinsically motivated in order to advance professionally this new normal. If they want to thrive and continually touch lives, they have to do these activities. First, reading journal articles. When teachers read journal articles, they learn new trends, new findings that may impact their beliefs, their understanding of their subject matters. As they deepen their knowledge on their subject matter, they become better in terms of delivering their lessons. Second is watching informative videos. Of course, this is probably the easiest because while teachers relax, they can just watch informative videos on YouTube, for example. As teachers watch videos, they synthesize everything that they watch as they select wisely the videos that may help them advance professionally. As they do so, their readings and prior knowledge are also reconsidered and associated with what they are currently assimilating. Another is attending formal professional development sessions. Right now, of course, teachers are not encouraged to attend conferences on site. However, there are many webinars and e-conferences that teachers can attend so that they can advance professionally. With the help and support, of course, of their schools or their colleges and universities, teachers can attend these professional development sessions so that they can be empowered to give their best in their classrooms. Of course, sometimes this is not possible, especially if there is a need to pay the registration fee. So, 
teachers have to resort to other ways. At the core of our re-envisioned professional development are conducting researches and presenting papers in academic fora or gathering. Here lies the paradigm shift. Teachers ought to be intrinsically motivated to advance professionally. And so, they need to proactively pursue professional development as they adapt to the varied learning modalities in the new normal. Whenever they conduct researches, they actively deepen their knowledge. They create knowledge actively. Whenever they present papers in webinars and e-conferences, they share their best practices and professional insights. Of course, we do understand that all of us educators can do this, provided that we are intrinsically motivated. All of us educators can conduct researches, presenting papers in academic fora. Definitely, we can do it if we have the intrinsic motivation. There are many calls for paper presentations and we just need to submit proposals that later may be considered by the organizers and that would allow us to present our papers. This is very important because when we present papers, we revisit what we have learned earlier, we find out what we need to share with our colleagues, and of course, we are compelled, we are encouraged to share our best practices. Of course, as we share our best practices, we likewise empower our colleagues in terms of providing dynamic learning experiences to our students. As we engage ourselves in all or most of these activities, we eventually enhance and broaden our knowledge and skills. These help us become effective educators. And so my dear friends, let us re-envision our professional development. We do need to read journal articles, watch informative videos, attend formal professional development sessions, conduct researches, and present papers in academic fora or gathering. With all the challenges and constraints brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic, educators have to enhance and broaden their knowledge and skills in facilitating their students' academic progress considering their learning modality. In summary, we have to bear in mind, my dear friends, fellow educators, that we ought to have the intrinsic motivation to achieve our professional development if we intend to thrive in the academy and eventually touch the lives of our students. If you have queries, suggestions, and points for clarifications, please feel free to comment below. And if you like to connect with me on LinkedIn, please see my name on LinkedIn, Joseph D. Dayag, PhD. You may also check our videos on Exeltrop online. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you very much to all the organizers of IconFed 2020.